I am Adil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers of my YouTube channel to participate actively, post brilliant questions and suggestions. Here is an excellent question based on polynomials remainder theorem by Mr. Henrik. I hope its solution will help many others. Let us go through this solution. Uh, we have a polynomial p of x given to us as x to the power of 91 minus 7x to the power of 90 and so on. And it is divided by the divisor d of x, x squared minus 7x plus 10. Find remainder using remainder theorem. Now this is indeed a difficult question to do and dividing that polynomial by a quadratic equation will take a lot of time. It's not an easy job. Anyway, we are also told here to use remainder theorem to solve. Now, how do we do this? Well, you notice that the divisor d of x could be factored and we could write this uh, x squared minus 7x plus 10 as equal to x minus 5 times x minus 2, right? So, we can use remainder theorem and find the value of this polynomial for 5 and also for 2, right? So, we can do this. So, let's use calculator to figure this out. So, I'll substitute 5 for x and then find its value. That will be the remainder, right? So, we have uh, 5 to the power of 91, okay? And then we have minus 7 times 5 to the power of 90. And then we have plus 10, 5 to the power of 89, minus 5, 5 to the power of 10, plus 35, 5 to the power of 9, minus 50, 5 to the power of 8, plus 8, 5 square, uh, so something went wrong, minus 50, let's, let's go back here, so we had uh, minus 50 x to the power of 8, okay, and then minus 50 5 to the power of 8 plus 8 x square 5 square okay and then we have minus 60 times 5 and then we have uh, plus 85 plus so something went wrong so let's calculate this using the calculator. So we have uh, 5 to the power of 91 minus 7, 5 to the power of 90 plus 10, 5 to the power of 89 minus 5, 5 to the power of 10, then we have plus 35, 5 to the power of 9, minus 50, 5 to the power of 8, mm, power of 8, and then we have uh, minus 60, uh, plus 8, 5 square and then we have minus 60 times 5 and then we have plus 85 equals to so that gives us minus 15 right so that gives us minus 15 let's find the remainder when you're dividing by 2 so now I'll replace all these 5's with 2 right so I'll do it one by one, that'll be faster. Next one. Uh, 
and then we have This is the last one, right? So we have plus 85. Let's check what this answer is. It is minus 3. So we get the value. P of 5 is minus 15 and P of 2 is minus 3. Now here is a very important step. We can actually write the polynomial. Now when you divide by a quadratic function, then remainder will be a linear remainder, right? So, so whenever you do, uh, important thing to note is, whenever you divide by the divisor, in that case, remainder will be linear. Since the divisor is quadratic, so let it be ax plus b, correct? So that is going to be the remainder. So now we can write this polynomial P of X as equal to divisor times the quotient plus the remainder, which is AX plus B. It does make sense to you, right? So whenever you divide, you can always write the polynomial as product of divisor and quotient and the remainder, which is AX plus B. Now the divisor here is given to us as x minus 5 times x minus 2. The quotient is qx. It could be anything. We really don't have to find it. That's the beauty of this method. Now if I substitute 5 for x, then this term becomes 0. And what we're left with is 5a plus b. And we know 5 of a is 5 of polynomials minus 15. So we get one of our equations. And if I substitute 2, in that we get 2a plus b, and that should be equal to minus 3. So that is our second equation to work with. Now clearly, we have two variables and two equations. Now if I do equation 1 minus equation 2, then we get 3a equals 2 minus 15 minus 3 gives us minus 12 and that gives you the value of a as equal to minus 12 divided by 3 which is minus 4. We can get the value of b by using one of these equations. So, so we know that b is equals to minus 15 minus 5a. Now substituting minus 4 here we get minus 15 minus 5 times minus 4, which is plus 20, right? And when you take away, so 20, that gives you plus 5. So clearly, we get the value of A and B, and that is the remainder. And therefore, we know now A is minus 4, B is 5, and therefore the remainder is what? AX plus B, right? So it is minus 4X plus 5. So that is the answer for the given question. So I hope you understand and appreciate the technique. This is an extremely good method to get remainder for such cases. I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to like and subscribe to my videos. Share them with your friends. Thank you and all the best.